Good morning gamers, or good afternoon, or good evening for whatever time you're watching this. Today we have a brand new Demigod review of the video kit for Xbox One. Grab your skateboards, get your videotapes, and don't forget to slick your hair back as it is the 80s, and kill the music! That's right folks, the video kid, the salute and head nod to classic video game Paperboy back for NES has now come to consoles respectively. First launching for PC back of January of 2017 and now hitting consoles of late August to early September of this year, you finally have the video kid. The video kid takes place in the 1980s, where you're a video delivery kid and you have to follow a set route to get to the girl that you love. However, this route you have is a treacherous path as you not only have to go against traffic, crazy animals and objects in your way, you also have to go against 80s references from character to car in the video kid. And now, for the graphics. My first pro for the graphics of the video kid is that it has a bright and vibrant color scheme and color palette. The colors really just pop off the game and stick to you as it's a refreshing color scheme to see. Everything has bright yellows, soft greens, lush oranges, baby blues, reds, blues, everything that you could really name that's a more poppable color as it's right there in your face to enjoy and look at. It's definitely a pro for me. Also, my next pro for the video kids graphics is that there's a lot happening on screen to where it truly doesn't lose frame rate either. With the way the game is designed with the choice of art style and how much is popping on and off screen from various characters, like horror characters on screen, Ghostbusters fighting a giant monster, He-Man, Thundercats, Transformers fighting on screen, you'd be surprised how well the frame rate holds up as it never dips visually nor has screen tearing. It's definitely, definitely a pro for me. However, my first and only con graphically is that while the colors pop at you, there's actually too much matching with each other that's hard to see sometimes. While the screen is designed to move fast while you're traversing on your skateboard during your route, it gets a bit hard to see everything stick out unless it's a reference to something from the 80s. So much does happen at some point that everything tends to blend in and get lost in the background or becomes a blur visually. It's definitely, definitely a con for me. The graphics of the video kid get a 3.5 out of 5. And now for the gameplay. My first and only pro for the gameplay of the video kid is that it's simplistic yet challenging in the same turn. You have two lanes to dodge things with left and right, A to deliver videos and B to jump. And while you're in the air, you can grind on select things like benches or cars with the skateboard. Combine the combination of having to watch out for what's on screen, timing your jumps right, making sure your videos get delivered, and that you're actually collecting money in all in one swoop and it's sure to be a challenge for anyone. It's definitely, definitely a pro for me. My first con for the video kid is that the gameplay and content of the game is extremely shallow. While it's designed to be a challenge, air quotes, there isn't much else going for it. You can dodge every 80s reference on screen while delivering routes and attempt to get all of the deliveries made, but there isn't nothing else to do. There isn't a stage 2, there isn't a remix mode, secret stage, or an advance of anything of the sort. The gameplay is a nod to Paperboy in which it is, but it doesn't have that sense of reward from it like you would Paperboy. It's just things jam packed on the screen that you have to look out for as winning is supposedly to give you a sense of accomplishment and hide the fact that this title doesn't have much else going for it gameplay wise. It's definitely definitely a con for me. My next con is that the outfits and tricks are set for a certain amount of money in a shop for particularly no reason. The costumes don't do anything for you in terms of power ups or effects and the tricks vary and look cool in action and that's really about it. There's no true change for buying anything for when something is unlocked. Yeah it's cool to see you skateboarding as Joke or as Shira or maybe an instant laugh to see Cookie Monster do a Christ Air or some tongue in cheek movie references but what else can you give me now in terms of skin or skateboarding? As these don't do anything except change skins. It's a con for me. My last con for the gameplay is that the achievements for this game are broken. I didn't get a single one for the game and I delivered 30 tapes, I bought every costume and trick, I hit all the points required in the achievement, I did everything that was asked for and I didn't get anything in return. Not a single achievement popped for this game. I had to find a look around online and I learned I had to delete the physical and cloud save to redo everything again. While the game is fun for the time that you play it, I shouldn't be forced to find an actual workaround that pads more time into it to fix the achievements. It's definitely a con for me. The gameplay of the video kid gets a 2.5 out of 5. 
And now for the audio. My first pro for the audio of the video kit is that I do like the music. It's very chipper, very uptune, very retro arcade like, and it's a nice touch to what's going on in front of you. The chip tune grooves from Savant really add to the 80s flair that they want you to be surrounded in, which isn't a bad thing by any means. It adds immersion, plus it's actually pretty damn catchy from time to time as it can get hypnotically toe tapping. It's definitely, definitely a pro for me. My next pro is that the announcer adds style and flair to the audio. It's comedic and very reminiscent of games like NBA Jam. The announcer says things like he's heating up or he's on fire, per to your chain of deliveries and tricks. It's a cool addition as it adds to how well you're doing and generally just makes it for a fun and humorous experience. It's definitely a pro for me. However, my first and only con for the audio is that some of it is a bit jarbled up. From certain characters when you run into them, to some of the singing characters that's in the game, it all just sounds like an audio mess. It almost sounds like sounds on top of sounds on top of sounds that got progressively worse over time. It doesn't sound pleasing to the ear and it just isn't good period. It's definitely a con for me. The audio of the video kit gets a 3.5 out of 5. And now for the story. The story of the video kit is honestly just one big con in itself. The main goal of the story is to do your video route while meeting a girl who may or may not be your girlfriend at the park. Then when it comes down to it, that's it. There's no saving her from something, doing it again, there's no stage two or three, playing as her to meet him, nothing in between that would give the story some shine. There's literally nothing memorable coming from this story. While I would attempt to like it more if it had more to it, I can't because it's extremely shallow. Also when you do finish the story, you get a congratulations and a Facebook link to share out your score. Nothing. Nothing from it at all. It is definitely, definitely a con for me. The story of the video kid gets a 1 out of 5. And now for the wrap up of the review. But all in all, the video kid is a solid title. With a great color palette, locked a consistently steady frame rate, simplistic yet challenging gameplay that's fun as hell, a great soundtrack, and a very humorous announcer, the game actually does well in a few spots. However, with so much happening on screen that everything tends to become a blur and unrecognizable, content of the game being extremely shallow and nothing else to it, the way you're forced to grind for unlocks that do nothing else for you besides change skins, achievements not unlocking, the audio sounding like a jarble mess, and the story easily being forgettable and not even close to memorable is awful but with that being said the video kid gets a 2.5 out of 5 all right folks that is it for my review of the video kid if you like it or disagree with it let me know in the comment section below hit that like and subscribe button for me and hit that notification bell icon whether you're new or returning so you can always stay up to date with everything that i'm doing to the left is a video that just popped up with marvel spider-man review go check that out and to the right is a video that popped up with telltale closing down and my thoughts about why go check that out also follow me on my social media links to all of those in the description box below and until next time and until the next review guys will tony turn up and throw down Reviews on the way. It's looking like a GG and dumb now.